Artificial intelligence is on the rise, and with the increasing availability of AI-powered tools like ChatGBT, for example, we're now able to accomplish tasks that were once either impossible or incredibly time-consuming, like working or dealing with noisy photos when you're editing, especially low-light photography, which is prevalent when shooting concerts. Well, Lightroom has just added its own AI-powered tool called Denoise. It uses artificial intelligence to remove noise from your photos while leaving all the detail intact. To showcase this, here's an example photo of RL Grime I captured back in 2017. This photo was taken on a crop sensor Nikon D5300 at an ISO of 1000. And when we zoom into the photo, you can really see all of that horrible noise. And like I mentioned, what was once an impossible or daunting task can now be fixed after just a couple of clicks. In the Develop tab, there are two ways to access the new Denoise feature. You can right or double click and then click Enhance, or we can scroll down to the Noise Reduction section and click Denoise, which will bring up the Enhance Preview dialog box. This is where you can adjust the amount of denoise that you'd like to use. And for this example, I'm going to ramp it up to 100. You can already see in the preview that the noise is all gone. And this is exemplified when we click this checkbox for a quick before and after. Now it's time to click enhance. And after a little bit of loading, what it'll do from here is create a new DNG file that's going to sit next to the original image. Adobe did mention that in the future, they're hoping to have it actually enhance the original photo instead. So keep that in mind. That said, after the noise effect is done processing, we can truly do a comparison between the original and the newly denoised DNG file, and the results are insane, especially after only two clicks. And lastly, it's recommended that if you plan on using the denoise feature in your editing workflow, that you use it first thing, since it can take longer to apply if you've added your masks and colors and all that. And using denoise after the fact could cause some of your masks and other color changes to shift as well. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. For you concert photographers that want a deeper dive into editing concert photography in Lightroom, hop over to this video next. I'll see you there.